Hey, hi everyone. So many of you have requested uh, this interview question. So thanks for bringing up. And uh, if you have any other uh, interview question or any other concepts which to be discussed, so please send that to this uh, mail ID. So we'll just get started with this question. Okay. So this question is uh, uh, the recruiter. Okay, they will ask you uh, every day. They will be getting some uh, uh, cities data. Okay. So that data has to be separated into several of the output data with the name in it city name in it okay for example consider this example okay so you have four rows in a file so this is a file so you have four rows so first two would be mumbai and then bangalore and then Hyderabad. okay so this is a population and then this is a year okay so in 2020 it was like 20.1 like that okay so like that you have two rows related to mumbai and then one bangalore one Hyderabad. okay so thing is uh, doesn't matter how many input file how many cities rows okay you get in this input file okay so you have to create that number of cities dot that okay that number of uh, output files with the city name in it okay for example these two should go into this file okay so this is the output file and then bangalore row this should go to bangalore dot that and then hyderabad row details should go into hyderabad dot that okay so doesn't matter how what are details you have in this uh, rows so uh, as soon as you pick the name okay pick the city name it has to go to that um, output file okay so you have three cities here so you'll be creating three different output files okay so that's the logic here so and then they will be like giving you the note okay so they will be like highlighting highlighting that this data is dynamic so okay so some days you may get a uh, 50 uh, city some days you may get 20 city some days you get only one city okay so for that you'll be like getting or you'll be writing only one output file okay so i hope you understood the problem statement here so let's just uh, 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 quickly solve this question okay so before that i think this question has been asked in multiple uh, i mean uh, multiple okay like i have been asked in several years okay like for the last uh, i think even 2018 so uh, like uh, since then and now it's asked in in fee okay in fee 2025 question okay so we'll just solve this question now so uh, let's see so before that we'll just check the concepts okay so what are the concepts you require okay so you'll be needing uh, like overall okay overall idea on the uh, read multiple file and then write multiple file okay so these concepts okay so please check that concepts in uh, docs.appenshow.com so they provide authorized source of uh, appenshow learning okay so uh, this one and then uh, uh, design okay detail design you have to know how to um, map those components and everything okay so this one and then uh, uh, last one so last but not least like you need to know how to code okay code inside that required component okay so here here we have a simple use case we have we have only one input file with containing some bunch of rows okay so that's the ask okay we don't have several input files okay if there is a several input file you need to understand you have to go for reading the multiple files okay so since we have got only one input file and then bunch of rows inside okay bunch of cities in it we can directly go for writing it okay so writing from reading this input file okay input rows okay, records okay so we can choose uh, wmf okay write multiple file and then we can code inside that okay so for coding inside that you need to know what are the transform packages or like what are the things like uh, core things you have to learn okay so please learn that in the official site and then we'll just uh, uh, get started with the design okay so here input file and then here as i said you need to go for write multiple file okay this component and then this component will end here itself okay we don't need have the branches okay so yeah so just for understanding i just put okay i just uh, 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 gave that arrow mark so uh, after this whole oh, input file is uh, directed to the right multiple file and that's it so this is the entire design and then you will get a mumbai output file bangalore output file Hyderabad output file in that the syllabus water path you give okay so here in this use case there is no change in the dml okay so as you see uh this row these two rows will get appended okay will get uh, uh will, uh, will 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 be present in this file okay so there is no change or there is no transform going on okay suppose if there is a transform going on you have to uh, put a maybe reform it before that and then you have to transform the fields and then you have to send it to the multiple okay okay so there since there is no uh, transform or any dml changes involved i'm just taking same record type okay same record type 
and then uh, uh, giving both in uh, end, uh, like input and output okay both side okay so so this is the my this is my ETL design and then uh, uh, yeah and then we can go for the code okay so we'll know we'll just know how to configure this one okay so input file so input file this might file may be present in a serial okay so a serial a serial landing okay something you can put a serial okay yeah okay so you have to generate okay so you can choose a serial as well for this output files okay so we'll just go to the coding so here uh, the thing is we have to understand okay uh, conceptually is that you have to first okay so i'll just uh, give you the concept first okay because that's more important than uh, coding okay because in an interview like if you answer the question you have to tell them properly what's the idea okay so here the idea is to define the file name okay so to define the file name for different cities okay so how will you define that okay so while parsing the input records so this one and then and then uh, uh, you have to yeah you have to define the file name and then you have to do the transform okay you really like do the transform and like in reform okay like in dust star thing okay for this use case okay so these two things so these two things are available ready made in our uh, packages okay in our uh, uh, write multiple file packages so in this package you will have a function called a get file name okay so this get file name we yeah, are using this one okay so get file name okay so using this function you can derive okay you can say them you can tell to the abinisho that okay i need to generate this type of input file city file input file with the name of city name in this uh, path okay so we'll just start with the uh, transform packages okay so just you have to double click on this uh, uh, right multiple component and then you have to open the transform okay you have to open the code and then uh, there will be like several uh, several other ideas okay so for example uh, you have a maximum limit okay so maximum limit okay so file limit is there so uh, this would be for now okay you just, uh, for now you just understand that you have 100 okay so limit is 100 okay so suppose you have uh, here so i have like here three cities okay so by default uh, your limit is this is a default number okay so default you can generate different 100 different output files okay okay so this you can change it like uh, for further info like you can just uh, uh, browse through that uh, uh, study material okay online study material so right now i can just start the coding okay so we don't have to configure any other thing so even this one is a default okay i just gave you idea like uh, how many different output files you can generate okay you don't have to touch on anything just to open the transform and then just you can just type the uh, file name uh, code okay so here uh, you have the file name code so you have to type okay you have to type so here as you like you are opening the loop okay so here this one is the important one colon okay so here you are determining the file name so for each record like we have to okay we have to form the file name okay so i'm using string concat so here i'm giving a serial okay so and then i'm giving that slash so here in dot okay so so here in cities of the dat like i can give city population and then fields okay in the year fields okay there are three fields okay so as you can see here there are three fields so city okay i'll just taking the city in dot city okay so then that okay so as you can see i'm just taking the a serial path and then i'm appointing that with the city name okay so for the first two rows for the first two rows it will take mumbai okay so mumbai and then it will create a mumbai file so okay so basically you have to understand the runtime here okay so what is the runtime of wmf okay so you need to understand the runtime of wmf even this is a repeated asked uh, iterative question okay so what it will do, it will do is just read uh, in the input records okay and then uh, execute get file name function 
and then uh, opens output uh, file okay opens output file and then make an entry okay so these things happens okay so and then execute transform okay so transform is optional reformat is optional okay so this one is a, a core function core i mean core uh, code okay so this one you have to understand so this is the main uh, idea behind this code and then uh, this one is optional okay so your uh, reformat is optional so i'm just giving you for your understanding so this one even if you uh, don't give this one it will the code will still run okay so you can write i'm just uh, in dot star so uniting all the uh, file contents okay so this one yeah okay yeah so this is the entire code okay yeah so these are the important ones i'm just uh, highlighting okay so this is important one so this one is optional okay so file name is a mandatory one okay so this one is a mandatory okay so this one is optional okay the solution would be you have to tell them okay i'll be like plucking the city name plucking the city name and then appending that with the output file field okay so this one will be like uh, you will generate you can easily generate okay three different outputs well okay so here three different output files will be there under a serial path okay so here in if you go there here you will get mumbai dot that and then you will have uh, bengaluru and then hyderabad okay so these three files will get created and then and then inside these files you will have these two rows mumbai and mumbai okay so that's it okay we will come up with uh, another question so this is a simple use case to complicate this use case they will ask you uh do something okay do some computation okay uh in uh, in the city details okay so they may give you some uh, some numbers okay num some population numbers uh some population numbers or some other things either to do uh, roll up or to do some reformat before that okay so for that you have to generate i mean you have to create some xfor okay you have to generate some xfor and you have to run that okay you have to like do a reformat before wmf okay so that that one would be xfor and then reformat input okay so you will be using xfor here and then uh, uh, write multiple file okay for that okay since there is no reformat there is no dml change involved i just converted one okay so city names into individual city name output file okay for this simple use case okay so uh, i think i think hope you understood the uh, entire problem statement and then uh, solution for it so we'll just uh, i'll just see you guys in the next uh, uh, uh case or any other concept so uh, if you feel like anything has to be discussed uh, please mail that to this mail id okay so uh, uh, i'll just see you guys in the next video